Well, I am going to show you how to apply your nail wraps. I mean, before we do that, we need to have super clean nails. And so I use something like Dawn dish soap. I always use this, it's good at removing oil. And then you're gonna to wanna to take a cuticle pusher and just push your cuticles back and then also look around your nail to see if you can scratch off any um, dry, flaky, invisible cuticle. So then you wanna take an alcohol prep wipe and you just wanna clean off the surface of your nail there. Okay, so that is nice and clean. So I've taken my wrap and I've cut it in half. And I had to trim a little bit around the sides just so it would um, fit my nail. I'm going to use these tools here. And if you don't have these kind of tools, which mostly you probably do have these kinds of tools at home, we have this cute little application kit. It comes in a nice little plum colored bag and I'll show you what you get in the application kit. So you would get these right here. You would get a buffer block, clippers, a file, and these handy little scissors. And I love this. It's the cuticle pusher, um, rubber cuticle pusher, and two orange sticks. And you'd also get um, a couple of um, prep wipes. There's two in there. So that's what you would get. And I really like the application kit. It gives you all the tools that you need for applying your wraps. You can also get it um, with cuticle oil. You can get it with or without cuticle oil. I really recommend the cuticle oil. It's really great for moisturizing your, your cuticles and your nails. And this right here, I'm going to be using to heat my wraps. Because our wraps are heat and pressure activated, we need heat to activate the adhesive on the, on, um, on the nail wrap. You can use a hair blow dryer or even um, a little mini um, rice bag heated up in the microwave. You could do that too. But I really love my heater. See, I turned it on and you hear the slightest little hum. It's so, so convenient. When I first did my nail wraps, I used a hair blow dryer and I hid I hid in my huge walk-in closet so because I think I I did it when my son was na was sleeping and so I didn't want him to wake up with the hair blow dryer blasting. It blows out a nice consistent heat um, so it's perfect for us. I'm going to lift my wrap. Um, I'm going to use something else to lift my wrap. Normally I use um, tweezers. I like to use tweezers and I don't you don't want to touch the back of the wrap at all. No, no, no. You never want to touch the back sticky side of your wrap because that will put oils um, on your wrap and you don't want that at all. So I always use my tweezers. So what you want to do is you want to stick the adhesive side in front of the heater for just a few seconds. So one, two, and three. And I'm going to lay it down on my nail. This part is always tricky for me. You don't want to touch your skin whatsoever. I try to get it as close to my cuticle as I can. So there it's on and you can, you can adjust it if you're able to. Um, so starting at the cuticle, whoops, sorry. I'm pushing firmly to the tip of my nail there. Nice and straight right down the center, rubbing it. Tug just a little bit. I'm gonna heat up the side here a little more. All right, heat up the other side. And push that side down. And this is where that rubber cuticle um, pusher comes in handy. So I'm just gonna push all around getting nice pressure everywhere. You want a really watertight, nice watertight seal all around. Tug a little bit. I like to give a little tug at the tip there. Just make sure it's nice and tight. So, and then there's all that excess. And what I do is, I will just cut this off. I'm going to file it off now and in a downward motion. So you file off until the, uh, in a downward motion, 
not from side to side. That would just tear the wrap until that excess just crumbles right off. And there you have it. I always go another the extra step and I take my buffer block and then I'll also in a downward motion, I just make sure I get a nice, this just gives it a really nice smooth edge and I, until it's nice and smooth. And I might give it a little more heat, okay? So just to make sure that tip there is nice and nice and done. Super easy, super simple, and then you have pretty nails.